Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm doing a kind of a Priceline haul. Um, we were invited along to the Priceline beauty prescription event, um, which I believe is held twice a year. And basically they showcase uh, new products that will be coming out at Priceline and Priceline pharmacy stores over the next six month period. So this is sort of like end of year um, goodies that are out or coming out very soon. Um, I'm going to get through this as quickly as I can um, and I'm gonna start with hair products. So first up, I've got some packs here from dry, uh, from Batiste, their dry shampoo packs. And I believe these are going to be their Christmas packs. So we have uh, the Eden set. So there's a can of dry shampoo and a hairbrush in there. And then we have Lux, and again, can of dry shampoo and a hairbrush. I believe this is a new scent. I did get to smell it at the event. It smells amazing, nice and fresh. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to have that. The packaging is really nice as well. I have a bunch of shampoo and conditioners, so let's get into them. Head and Shoulders, these are a new line to the range. They are the Supreme Moisture with Argan Cream. Um, so these are designed to be a little bit more hydrating. So for people with um, drier or damaged hair types, and they still work in the whole like treat um, dandruff issues, but they're a bit more nourishing. So I have, I bought one of these. They've got two new ranges, I can't remember. I think again, it's an argan oil type treatment range. Um, and I'm using that one in my shower at home and I love it. It's really, really nice. Uh, I've always been a fan of Head and Shoulders. I feel like in terms of um, anti-dandruff shampoos that aren't too stripping on the hair, this is usually the brand that I go for. It just works for me and I actually like the product. Um, and how it makes my hair feel. So happy to have them. Keen to give this range a go. It was kind of on my list of like, you know, next time I need head and shoulders, I'll try that range. Um, but yeah, very happy to have those. Another one that I'm really excited about are the Fudge Cool Brunette Blue Toning Shampoo and Conditioners. So They've got uh, two new lines. They've got one for blondes, which is purple, and they've got one for brunettes, which is blue. Personally, as someone who has had um, bleach blonde hair, I actually prefer blue toning products. Blue is good for getting rid of like orange tones in the hair, um, and purple's good for yellow tones. I find yellow tones are easier to deal with, whereas the orange tones are really difficult. And blue toned products are actually really uh, difficult to find. So I'm so excited that these are now going to be available in Priceline. It's it's a handy product. Um, and I'm really, I'm keen. I'm keen to give these a go. Frank Provost. Um, now, Frank Provost is a brand that has been in Australia. They have salons and now they're bringing their products to Priceline stores. They gave us uh, a couple of their Jamais My lines. Uh, we've got the Oleo Supreme, which is for very dry and brittle hair. Uh, it offers nutrition and softness. And then we have the Keratine Miracle, which is for damaged and brittle hair. This uh, repairs and strengthens. So there's a shampoo and conditioner in each range. You might be able to see that the, like, the hearts on this one are sort of like a, a bronzy orange, and this one is red. So each line is color coded. Um, there are more in the range as well. These are the ones that they gave to us, which I'm not mad about because they're suited to my hair type. Um, I've been using the Keratine Miracle one while I'm staying here at a hotel, and I really like it. Um, they're nice shampoo and conditioner, smell good, all that good stuff, um, and pretty good sizes for travel as well. They're not, you know, they're not huge, 
um, they're kind of travel friendly. I've got some leave-in products here from Husk. Uh, this is the Rosé Wine inspired color protection 10-in-1 leave-in spray. So this is a leave-in hairspray. Guys, it smells so, so good. Like just, oh, I want to drink it. I just want to drink it. It smells amazing. So this is designed to be put in the hair wet or dry um, and it's supposed to offer 10 benefits. So it preserves color, UV absorber, conditions, anti-breakage, shine, strengthen, thermal protection, men's split ends, which I don't know about that, uh, eliminates frizz and detangles. This is really nice. Again, I've been using it over the last couple of days and it just smells so good. And it, it does feel a little bit just like a, a leave-in conditioner. Helps to sort of smooth the hair, soften the hair. Um, good for like brushing out tangles and stuff like that. Uh, from Bedhead or Tiggy Bedhead, uh, we have the After Party Smoothing Cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. Um, I believe this brand has never been in Priceline before. It's not a new brand in Australia. They have been around for a long time. They have fantastic products. They have a an aerosol shine spray. I love it. I've been using it for years. It's fantastic stuff. Um, so I'm really happy to see them in Priceline. Um, and it means you can sort of take advantage of like the, you know, 40 or 50% off hair care sales, which is great. Um, so I'm, I'm keen to try that. I haven't tried this product before. I have seen it before but um, not used it yet, so I'm keen. And the last hair product I have is from a brand called Kristen S. Now, this is a new brand to Priceline, and I believe they said it was coming in October or November, and I think it's gonna be at Priceline Pharmacy stores. Some of these brands are gonna be in Priceline Pharmacy, some in Priceline stores. I can't remember all of them, but um, this one I'm pretty sure was Priceline Pharmacy and essentially this is a hair care line. They have some beautiful looking products. This one in particular is a weightless shine leave-in conditioner for all hair types, um, detangling, softening, uh, strengthening, stuff like that. Um, and essentially their lines are color coded like the white products are all leave-in. Um, they had like pink products that are cleansing I think and then another color code for um, you know, treatment products, which I think is really clever. I like that. It kind of gives the the range some structure. Um, and if you're familiar with, you know, the different types of colors and what the different products do, um, you could totally go and be like, well, I need a treatment product and I need a leave-in product. So look at the white stuff and yeah, I like it. I think it's smart. I'm really excited to try that. Uh, not that you guys can really see it, but there we go. The lighting here is not that great. All right, let's move on to body. Um, I, have, I have a hell of a lot of stuff here from Jergens. Um, shout out to the lady who was at the Jergens booth. Um, she was a gun. Uh, it was nice to meet you too. So I've got some products here from it's an oil infused line these are all body moisturizers um, so I've got nourishing honey which I've been using and it smells amazing there's also the deep restoring argan I've got enriching shea butter and hydrating coconut these are massive bottles um, so they'll last you a long time 496 mils so nearly half a liter um, I really like Jergens body moisturizers. I find that they're they're light and they absorb really quickly, but they're beautifully hydrating and really softening on the skin. So I'm definitely not sad to have these uh, in my collection. I'm I'm set for body moisturizer, which is fantastic. From Shea Moisture, I have a body wash, which I've also been using. This is the African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash with oats, aloe, and vitamin E. Um, this, <laughs> this smells amazing. Oh my god. I want to eat it. It's just, oh, it smells divine. I've actually been using the 
black soap on my face recently and I really really like it um, the body wash I really enjoy as well it's it's a type of body wash where you only need a little bit to like get a really nice lather over your whole body and it rinses away leaving you clean but not stripped which I really really love so happy to have enjoying so far probably like at this point I've used this twice and I'm already like I would buy this again I really really enjoy this one oh this is so interesting I have a product here from Chic this is the intuition fab so this is a razor it has uh, what have we got there we've got five blades um, and they also legends gave us some refills um, but essentially what this is is a razor that you can shave forwards and backwards with so you could technically just run it up and down your leg all the way around uh, to get a shave done quicker which I thought was really really interesting I'm keen to try this um, I hate shaving my legs it's so it's so annoying and if this does make it any easier I'm down I'm totally down um, yeah I what the hell back and forth razors something a little bit different for the body um, and probably you know targeted to very certain people uh, people who have tattoos um, we've got a brand called electric ink now, Electric Ink is a tattoo care brand, and essentially they make products to prolong the life and the vibrancy and the color of your tattoo. Um, so there's the Daily Moisturizer and the Vibrancy Serum. So the serum is, um, these are all for healed skin as well, uh, I believe. Okay, so I thought these were all for healed skin, but the Daily Moisturizer might be okay um, on a fresh tattoo. It doesn't say that you can't use it on a fresh tattoo, whereas the Vibrancy Serum says it's specifically for healed skin. So the Vibrancy Serum um, you put on a tattoo and it's meant to instantly like bring that tattoo back to life, improve the vibrancy of the tattoo uh, ink. And the moisturizer is a protector and a moisturizer in one. I'm really, really keen to try this. They did have another product. I believe it was a body oil, um, which I think I will pick up at some stage, give it a go. Um, I'm loving, loving the packaging. And I really like that um, products like this uh, that are a little bit more targeted are becoming you know a bit more easily accessible in stores like Priceline so um, if you've got tattoos and you're keen to try some some new products that are targeted at tattoo uh, owners wearers owners mm. check out electric ink from Aiken, I have a natural deodorant. This is the geranium and cedar wood. It is a spray-on deodorant. Um, it's not an antiperspirant, uh, so it won't stop you from sweating, but it doesn't contain uh, triclosan, aluminium, um, or zinc. It does contain a lot of alcohol, though, which can be drying, so that's, you know, that's something... I feel like, you know, there's, there's often drawbacks with products where you're missing one thing but they have to put in something else to stabilize the formula or make it effective or whatever but if you're into natural deodorants Aiken has one now you can go and check it out it does smell quite nice uh, I've also got two fake tans now I don't fake tan but these really really interested me so from Mind Tan, we've got uh, the clear base. So this is a color create, um, basically Mind Tan has these um, individual like tanning drops and they're different color bases. So I think they've got like a, a purple and a green and another range and you can drop your tan drops in here to uh, create the perfect color base for you 
and then the the liquid in here tans your skin so you can use it as a clear tan base or you can uh, customize it to your sort of tan preference which is really interesting I'm I'm keen to try this as a tan uh, base just like a clear tan base um, Saint Tropez have one as well it's a bronzing water mousse um, and it's a self tanning product that that it was recommended that um, this would be a good one to use on our face um, and being clear you can't see it it's you just put it on and your tan will slowly develop over time so I'm keen to try it it's very different to anything that I've seen on the market previously however I don't keep close eye on tanning brands so there might very well be some that are out there like this but I'm keen to give it a go uh, mine tan also did give us a tanning mitt feels very soft I do like it um, I might have a play with these on my legs as well because we're getting into warmer weather and I am white. Oh, I found another hair product. This is from Ethic. This is the Pinkalicious Shampoo Bar for Normal Hair. So Ethic does a lot of like uh, bar type products, so solid products, um, body scrubs, soaps, and shampoo bars. Oh, it smells so good. So essentially, this is just a solid shampoo, um, similar to what they do at Lush. Um, it's just another alternative so if you're into that type of thing and you want to expand your horizons a thick is a great brand to check out I've used one of their body scrub bars before absolutely beautiful really really nice product I found another body product this is from Thursday plantation it's the macadamia ultra hydrating daily body oil so this is a body oil um, intensely nourishes and replenishes dry skin easily absorbed into the skin um, I'm keen to try that I like body oils they're great in summer I love to put them on my arms and legs when I'm going out and make sure they're nicely hydrated and they offer a bit of glow to the skin so I'm ha happy to have that because I am low on body oils Thursday plantation gave us another product again from the macadamia line it's an ultra hydrating lip balm that is a huge tube hopefully it's great because uh, it'll last a long time so I'm keen to give that a go I've got some cleansing products from Bior I have the charcoal cleansing micellar water and the baking soda cleansing micellar water um, so they're just makeup removers which is great can't go wrong um, I really like makeup removing things like this like micellar waters for when I'm having a really lazy day and I'm like I need to take off my makeup but I don't want to wash my face at the sink I just do this and then typically put on a moisturizer and crawl into bed and feel sorry for myself uh, they also gave us little travel sizes of those which is super handy I will use them because sometimes I travel I have 15 minutes before I have to be out of this hotel so let's get this done uh, masks I've got sheet masks from Garnier these are the fresh mix tissue max hyaluronic shot and vitamin C shot so essentially what you get is your sheet mask in the top it's all dry up there and then you get your serum down the bottom and you mix them together basically so uh, the serum goes in it's all fresh and then you pop it on your face um, I'm keen to try it they feel cool I don't know what it is about liquid in pouches it just feels it feels amazing I have a Korean brand here this is secret key we've got the blackout pore three-step nose pack so this is a blackhead removal pore strip um, but it's done in three steps so a cleansing step opening um, up the pores removing and then tightening the pores so that's really cool I'm keen to try it uh, packaging is super cute fun more sheet masks skin Republic I have the retinol hydrogel mask so this is a hydrogel sheet mask which is the jelly type not the material type and this is supposed to be 
um, a retinol based mask for helping to hydrate the skin um, so yeah I'm keen to try that I'm keen to see what it's like uh, from Dr. Lewins we have the ultra R4 lift and firm collagen firming face mask again it is a hydrogel I believe feels like a hydrogel um, so yeah I'm, I'm keen I'm keen to see what it's like collagen face mask smooths lines and wrinkles yes please from Olay, we have the Magna Masks Infusion. These are hydrating sheet masks for dryness and roughness. Yes, please. Um, I've been going through some skin shit lately, and my skin, when it's not happy, it gets really rough. Um, and it's not it's not the sort of roughness that uh, face scrub can deal with. It's it needs like intense hydration, um, and that's when I pull out my sheet masks. So I feel like this is sort of targeted to actually treat that. Um, I'm keen to give it a go. And it looks like there's five masks in each pack. So, oh, I'm excited. Yes, yes. From a brand called Vice Versa Skin, uh, we have some treatment spot patches, basically. So these ones are the micro needling pimple patches or the blemish blasters. And these ones are the micro needling plumping patches. Now you might have seen in some places uh, or from some brands, um, face masks or eye masks, like patch style masks that have tiny, tiny little micro needles on them. Um, that's what these are. So I'm really, really excited to try these. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews from other brands. I don't believe it was Vice Versa Skin, um, but I am so keen to see if these are effective. Um, I mean, the thing with masks is it's all temporary. You put it on, you get results. If you need results again, you've got to maintain it. You've got to use the patch again. Um, but I'm, I'm really keen to try these out and see if they are effective. The whole micro needling thing is supposed to um, help to deliver, you know, stuff faster to the skin. So, yeah, I think we might do maybe a, a trial over on Beauty News with, uh, with one of them. But, yeah. All right, masks. I've apparently got a lot of masks. Um, I'm going to run through these really quickly because I'm running out of time and I've got so much more stuff. Uh, we've got from Alia Skin, this is the Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask. Pink clay masks are insanely popular at the moment. Um, yeah, it's people are all over it. It's like insta famous basically. And there's also Generation Clay Brightening Purple Clay Mask. I have a glycolic mask from An Andalou Naturals. More pink clay masks. This one's from Sukin. Um, and another one from Sukin is the Coffee and Coconut Exfoliating Mask. Holy shit. I believe this is sealed. Let's see if I can still get a little whiff. It smelled like food. It smelled like food at the event and I want to eat it. I'm hungry. I'm hungry and now I want to eat my skincare. From Yes To Skin, I've got the Tomato Clear Skin Snap Mask Stick. So it's a detoxifying mask and it's in a stick form. Um, not sure how I feel about that, but we'll see. I've got a cleanser from Aiken, Clarifying Cleansing Mousse Oil Control. I'm really, really excited to try this. Um, I like Aiken as a brand. I like the products that I've tried from them. And I feel like this is something that's kind of targeted to my skin type. So I'm keen to try it. I've got a replenishing moisturizer from Salal. I also have the Tolerane Ultra from La Roche-Posay. Uh, Napoleon Purtis. Napoleon Purtis. Yes. Um, I have the Skin Renewal nail serum so this is like a little tiny little um, serum bottle 
use a couple of drops. It is an insane green color. Um, I actually love snail serum products. Uh, they're probably one of my favorites. I've only ever tried them from uh, Korean brands, so I'm not, not too sure how this will go, but I'll try it out. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is a Trilogy Overnight Mask. Um, and it's meant to be like hydrating, firming, all that good stuff. I love Trilogy. I love Trilogy products. They are just, my skin absolutely adores them. So I'm really excited to try that. And from L'Oreal Paris, I have the Revitalift Laser 3. This is an anti-aging day moisturizer. I'm going to pass this on to mum because she loves she loves that range. Uh, from Neutrogena, I have the Visibly Clear Light Therapy Spot Treatment. This is a spot treatment pen, um, similar to their light therapy masks, which are designed for people who have um, all over acne or very severe acne. This is um, in a pen form for more targeted treatment. So if you just get the occasional spot, this is the one you would go for. It's all automatic, you put it on the spot, press the light, the light does its thing, it goes off automatically when it's done with the treatment time. I'm so excited, so, so excited to try this. Let's start going through some makeup and stuff like that. Real Techniques, they have their packs still. Um, so this is the sculpting set. We did have an option of different types that we could take um, and I picked this one because the setting brush is in there, which is this little one. Favorite, favorite, awesome, awesome, fantastic brush from Real Techniques. Uh, Face Halo, they have the Pro Black. So um, this is essentially Face Halo in a black form. So you can't see um, when it's, it's stained. Some people don't like their Face Halo to look stained um, or you know, show the appearance of makeup buildup. That's what this is for. This caters to people who don't want to see that on their face halo. So now they have it in a black form. Um, I'm keen to give it a go. Oh, Maybelline. Uh, they were promoting their Matte and Paulus Fit Me foundation. They gave us chocolate. I'm not mad at it. Um, I ended up with the, what did I get? What did I get? Oh, Butterfly Pea Coconut and Lemon White Chocolate. So there we go. Um, essence. So we've got a few new goodies. There's the Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup in there. I should probably, no, I'm not gonna open it. I don't have time. Uh, and my battery is dying. This is just not going in my favor today. Uh, there is a mascara in there, the I Need a Miracle, and also a matte metallic. Um, liquid lipstick from Indeed Labs. We have the Nano Blur Color Correcting um, Nano Blur Primers. Uh, so these are designed to help color correct while also blurring out um, imperfections in the skin or filling pores. Um, I picked up the green one for redness because that's usually what I struggle with, but they do have other shades available. Uh, I have a Sol, Soli Notes fragrance. This is the uh, cherry blossom scent. It smells amazing. Uh, very happy to have it. These are uh, Eau de Parfums and I believe they were only $30. They were affordable, very affordable, beautiful fragrances um, and essentially they're designed to be mixed and matched. Uh, so you can sort of create your own custom fragrance um, or you can wear them on their own. From Nude by Nature, I have uh, Shine lipsticks. They actually gave us two. I ended up with Pale Coral and Dusty Rose. Uh, these were really pretty shades, all nudes, very wearable, very feminine, very pretty. Uh, Astralis gave us a Girl Boss Demi Matte uh, lip cream. I'm keen to give that a go. I got the shade Genuine and from CoverGirl. CoverGirl gave us the True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette. So just a bronzer, highlighter, blush. Max Factor gave us the Miracle Glow Duo. This is a cream highlighting and bronzing 
glowy product. Uh, Neutrogena gave us some lipsticks. I got the shades Flutter and Blissful. These are gorgeous. Uh, I feel like there might have been one more. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, anyway, lipsticks from Neutrogena. Again, I chose nudes. Wearable. Very pretty. Um, I've got some lashes here from Ardell. These are magnetic lashes. I'm so excited to have these guys. I've been wanting to try these for so long. I got the uh, Double Demi Wispies and there's two pairs in there. I'm very keen to give them a go. Actually, I suppose it's not two pairs, is it? It's one pair because they, they sit like, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna give them a shot. More lashes. These are the Glam by Manicare uh, Natural Lashes. So these are a demi lash. I love a demi lash. From Burt's Bees, we have the uh, glossy lipsticks. So these, oh, they're so long. Um, three shades there. They've got like a mauvey nude, a red, and a pink. And they also gave us the Red Dahlia Tinted Lip Balm from a brand called Karen Murrell, we have uh, the Violet Mousse Natural Lipstick. Uh, Violet Mousse was like a mauvey nude shade. I think you can probably tell that I like the mauvey nude shades. From Models Prefer, we have some cream metallic eyeshadows in there, which I'm keen to try out. Uh, they swatched really nicely. So, you know, can't, can't go past uh, some sparkly eye products. Uh, also, I found the other Natio lipsticks. So, so in total, they gave us five. Uh, they did look great in their box, but now they're on the floor. Um, L'Oreal, they gave us the Unlimited Mascara. This is really interesting. It's, you can, look, I don't, I don't understand. It's weird. You can bend the wand um, so that you have different like angles at which you can get the mascara wand. Um, I'm just gonna have to try it to see what it's like. It's it's one of those things. It could be great. It could be not so great. And the last thing uh, I've got the quick flick here. This is in the shade hot fudge. Um, and it's the Grand, so 12 millimeter. And I also have a little pack that contains the Balm Appetit Palette uh, Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter and a NYX, no, sorry, a Barry M Glitter Rush, um, sort of like uh, holographic purple glitter. And essentially what they're planning on doing at Priceline is having these um, small stands that rotate products out on a regular basis um, that are really kind of trendy and cool, like the Quick Flick and the Balm and Barry M. So that's really cool. Um, I feel like that's the sort of thing that might like encourage you to go into Priceline really regularly to see what's new. All right, guys, I have to go because I need to check out of this hotel um, and I'm not finished packing and my battery's dying. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave your comments down in the comment section and I will see you in the next one. Bye.